Fancy meeting you here, friend. Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Yep. This is getting a mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living of New Vegas, though. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly, it's mostly intact, even after all that time. Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved onto the dam, this station has fallen into more a support role. For about 10 years now. Toughest training I've ever done, and was the proudest day of my life when I got my Ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the Rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. So long.
here, a troublesome Legion camp got razed to the ground. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such too. Comes with practice, that's all, and a lot of scouting from place to place. I call her the Long Caribbean. Didn't always have the scope, I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Used to be a ranger, one of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. That red beret's looking good, soldier. something I can do for you? I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Yeah, on top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. As in chem fiends, biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. 
But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Bye. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd, or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Later. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Yep, see you around.
Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us up. Yes, what is it? No? What happened? Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the Legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. I'll have Curtis taken into custody. If he lets himself be taken alive, that is. Bye. Mercy killing is expected of NCR snipers. The Legion likes to torture their prisoners within sight of NCR positions. We get called on to end it. I've had my share. Some of them, you think. Maybe you could have gotten them out. Maybe it's not the Legion that got them killed. Maybe it's your orders and you following them. He was a good spotter. Yeah, we were. When Carla went missing, he was the first person I told. He tried to hide it, but I could tell right away. He was glad. Sure. First NCR recon. It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. Pays a little better. So I said okay. All right. I was in a lot of places with first recon. I don't really remember. There was a... miscommunication. Yeah, well, that's how they wrote it up in the report. We did what we were there to do. A lot of people got killed. That's war. Maybe looking back, you do things differently. But that's not how it works. In the field, you hesitate. You or someone you care about will die. They teach that from day one. You don't come out of a tour of duty without regrets. It's best just not to think about it. Yeah, always, even when I sleep. I don't think so. It won't change anything. And that's a memory I don't want refreshed. I don't see what this helps. She's dead. All right. 
she... I tracked her down. Southeast, near the river. They were selling her. I saw it through my scope. Whole place swarming with legion, hundreds of them, bidding for things no man has a right to. I just had my rifle with me. Just me against all of them. So I took the shot. Yeah. What they do to women. That's worse than death. There was no choice in what I did. It was more like being forced to watch something you can't stop. All this was only ever gonna play out one way. It still is. I don't have any say. All I can do is wait for it to be done with me. It was gonna be something. If I'd never met Carla, it would have been something else. I should have never gotten close to her. I've got bad things coming to me. You better keep your distance too. Because fair is fair. Better that you don't. Life has a way of punishing you for the mistakes you make. Big enough mistake, punishment can take a while. Mine's not over. A murderer who does good deeds is still a murderer. And he'll still get his judgment. I left the NCR when my tour was up. Had enough of war. And decided I was gonna start over. None of it made a difference in the end. Because I'm still alive. Yeah. I've never seen a robot like that before. Hey. I thought some more about what you said. I think maybe you're right. Maybe I should go to Bitter Springs. I don't know what I'm hoping to find there. I hope this isn't a mistake. Yeah.
This is the place. We got sent from Camp Golf looking for some cons who've been making trouble with one of our settlements. I guess one of the settlers was connected because we sent everything we had. We figured this was a gang hideout, but they led us to their home. There's a ridge called Coyote Tail on the south side. That's where we set up. Canyon 37. That's what the NCR calls the pass down there. It was the Khan's only escape, so we set up here to guard it while the main force attacked from the front. Standing orders were to shoot on sight. Main force got spotted too soon. We heard shooting. Then Khan started coming through Canyon 37 in bunches. It was all wrong, though. Women, kids, elderly. Wounded started coming through, too. We radioed to confirm our orders, but command didn't get what we were seeing. They told us to shoot till we were out of ammo, so that's what we did. But the cons, any of them can be dangerous. There's a lot you can't see through a scope. Still, I often wonder the same thing. Anyway, I don't know why we're here. Thought maybe it'd help me see things better. I'd like to stay here for the night. Think some things over. All right. We won't stay for long. Something's wrong. Got a group coming our way. Looks like a Legion raiding party. It's big. Might be too big, even for us. If you want out, I won't blame you, but I'm gonna stay. See if I can hold them off. Easy target for grabbing slaves. Bunch of refugees, just a few soldiers defending it. I don't think they're here for us. Too bad. Would have made me feel good about myself. I'm not. Always figured this was how it was gonna end for me. Just didn't know when. That day you showed up in Novak, I had a feeling I was supposed to go with you. That it was time to end all this. Now I know. <laughs> if only it was this easy all the time. Tell the truth. I think this is exactly what I've been waiting for.
Run from me. through after all. Not sure what to make of that. I guess I did. I guess I figured whatever we could handle, this time the Legion was gonna send more. I should have died here a long time ago. When I spotted the Legionaries today, I thought I understood. Things were finally gonna even out. But I'm still here and nothing's changed. If that's how it is... There's not a lot of comfort in knowing it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about all this. I guess they brought us here. One less Legion raiding party running loose now. Never a bad thing, you can take my word for that. 
still feels like I'm living on borrowed time. But I don't see any reason not to take a lot more of those sons of bitches with me. You got a point. There's still some things I can do before all this is over. Yeah.